Hello my soccer universe and I decided this time let's start with the Eredivisie and with League uh, the review of the weekend because honestly uh, the most important game from my regard or the most impactful game on any title race happened actually uh, in these two leagues namely in the Netherlands with the clash of, a of Ajax at PSV. However I'm not wearing Ajax I'm wearing uh, Bordeaux because I said last uh, last week that yeah they are down there and they got a pretty impressive win as well and i don't think i will be able to wear bordeaux as often uh, uh this season as i would probably wish for it's a beautiful jersey but as i said um biggest clash was in the netherlands uh where we we, we will start as i say i think the other thing that is of course in France, I have the feeling that Marseille is slowly establishing themselves as the number two team. It's still kind of tight, but uh, they're getting a rather important wins as of late. But other than that, it's again a crapshoot. I mean, last, last week we had uh, uh, Rennes destroying Bordeaux. This week they lose. So whenever you think one is good and the other, uh, they lose the next season, uh, the next week, uh, we have no Montpellier coming up top suddenly and let's see uh, how quickly they will draw, drop off the if this was a title race let's say if we take PSG out of it I think it would be super exciting in many ways the problem is the PSG is so far ahead of the rest but as I said we'll start in the Netherlands we actually have to talk about the cup round where we have the results here um, it was kind of you know the second warm up to the big clash I think there's not too many notable results. Uh, maybe that Breda from the second tier, the Erste Divisie, uh, beat Zwolle is probably the one upset. Uh, AZ over 20 is kind of expected. Um, I also maybe go ahead Eagles against Herren Wayne, but not really, to be honest. So I think it was uh, uh, Nijmegen against Groningen. I would say this is a minor upset. Uh, what really uh, almost annoys me a little bit is the way the draw was made that PSV is playing at home against Telstar. Uh, that's probably just about bearable, only winning 2-1. But Ajax against a third division team, 9-0 against Mas Luis. Honestly, uh, that should have been played. The, 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 it needs to be switched. The uh, <laughs> Ajax cannot play at home to a thir uh, third tier team, but it's it's my uh, 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 opinion. But you know, it was a nice warm up for them for the big clash where they seemingly had a lot of fun. Uh, we also know already the draw um, with Ajax against Vitesse that was last year's final, uh, kind of tightly contested final, being the um, the tie that stands out. I would say the Nijmegen against Go Ahead Eagles uh, could be a tight title as well. The other ones have pretty clear favorites. So yeah, uh, Feyenoord of course already out of the cup. Uh, speaking of Feyenoord, they got a big win at Nijmegen for one. Uh, you know, but for to me they're more or less out of the tie. T the title is having a couple of bad results, whereas the others have been consistently uh, winning. Also AZ uh, losing at home with Tess, losing to Groningen. Just when you. Th Thought that Vitesse might be the one that could go in the 20 with the win against William Dwey, um, as you will see in the stats. It says, are now kind of the fourth force uh, or fifth force at, uh, at, at, at this moment. And if you wear red and white, you have a pretty good chance in the Netherlands to being up there. All about was the big clash between PSV and Ajax. Uh, I mean, can wipe the rest of the schedule more or less clean. This was the one that uh, a potential title decider, maybe not quite yet. Um, gotta say that uh, when I look at uh, PSV, um, they needed to win this one. And they didn't. The game was not a great one. Uh, and I have to I, I have to what annoys me in the Netherlands is that as I said all the big teams are basically red and white. So you always have red and uh, white as a home kit against a rather odd looking away jersey way too often. I have to say the red against the blue of Ajax didn't look all, all the great. I, I, I actually think in this match maybe Ajax could have played in their home jerseys. Honestly, I think it would have made for a nice, maybe not a nicer contrast, but you know, uh, it, it would be a light against a red team, um, a light against a dark team. So I think that that could have looked nice. But as I said, I actually had a lot, lot, lots of possession, but didn't really know what to do with it. Uh, and then um, uh, I think the, f uh, the first shot came for PSV. 
Uh, and then out of nowhere, almost a free kick from Berghuis just goes ev uh, through everyone and on the crossbar. And that was basically, basically the early exchanges. Bro, but then he's signaling, uh, you know, I'm uh, injured, take, take me off. But he stays on long enough that Tadic just gets across and the Bro heads into the net. And then uh, tries to say, the a false start, I'm injured, blah, blah, blah. And he went out. So with his last touch, he scores the go-ahead goal. Um, a huge chance for PSV to equalize, but Pazvea... Uh, can save it and I gotta say uh, for me I mean that Ajax will win the Champions League is probably proper in, 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 in any way a very uh, strong statement because I don't think they are in the top top echelon but I actually think the one weakness that Ajax have is actually at the goalkeeping position a little bit even if Onana has come, come back he, he didn't look all that all right for Cameroon as well uh, second half a bit better from PSV with Götze getting an equalizer a uh, really nice a typical Götze goal in many ways uh, then Ajax again having a few chances but uh, it was as I said it was not the barnstormer that you would wish for and no spectators is definitely playing into the hands there uh, then uh, Klaassen comes on for Grafenberg um, and with that Ajax kind of tilts it up one more. They get the go-ahead goal through a wonderful shot by Masarawi. Uh, but it has to be said that it, it took a whole lot of time to have the goal confirmed because then Billup daily blind just on the line, keeps the ball maybe just about in. Uh, there was no conclusive angle and the ref let it go on and the goal counted and uh, Ajax actually was then closer to make it three than uh, PSV uh, getting an equalizer to be honest. So yeah, uh, I think it was a little bit of a dis dis disappointing game. I actually have to say the way that the, uh, that the toppers were scheduled, PSV can find themselves a little bit aggrieved, I would say, because I mean the first one where Ajax won 5-0, uh, not only did have PSV at the moment a lot of injuries, but they had two days less to prepare for it because they played in the Europa League, Ajax played in the Champions League on a Tuesday. So that was kind of an odd uh, scheduling. And now I think with a crowd, the game would have been a little bit uh, hotter, I would think. And that would also probably have lifted PSV. So, uh, and you know, both had players at the AFCON, so I think in that sense it, it was fair, but overall a little bit unlucky, I think, for PSV going forward. So yeah, with that, Ajax is back on top. And yeah, next round we have uh, the other big game will be the Rotterdam Derby, although it's not the big, and then of course PSV against AZ, uh, maybe PSV need to come back. I would expect Ajax to win against Heracles, but you know, you never know. Ajax is prone to lose. They make the big points, but they're prone to lose those, um, the not so important uh, games in the, uh, that they drop points there. Going over to France, I mean, I didn't watch uh, much live there, to be honest, but I saw a few highlights. I mean, Lyon a little bit uh, disappointing, only 1 0 against Saint Etienne thanks to a penalty. Uh, Santa Tien team that is really down in the doldrums. Um, but there were a few remarkable results. I mean, Brest beating Lille 2-0. Um, any momentum that Lille might, might have had is already gone. Loss losing at home to Marseille. As I said, Marseille is really uh, establishing themselves as a second force. Um, at Bordeaux 4-3 over Strasbourg. A big win for, for them. Uh, Clermont Foot beating Rennes. Said it in the run-up, not 4-2 Lorient and Breton Derby. A great game, especially far from the highlights between Mopi and Monaco. Gotta, gotta say, Mopi had a 2-0 lead in uh, by the third, third second, and Benjeda pulls one back. Uh, game is kind of on the edge. Monaco, uh, in, where both could go score, then Wanders in the 82nd gets the equalizer, and you think, yeah, it will end in a draw, but uh, Mavi, Mavididi gets the winner in stoppage time for Montpellier. So a uh, pretty big win there in a uh, fun game that I a little bit regret uh, not watching because I watched other games yesterday, AFCON and Premier League. And yeah, I think this would have been the one to watch. Uh, PSG 4-0 over Reims, not much to say except that uh, Verratti got a double, which doesn't happen. The second goal, I think, took a double deflection and then Sergio Ramos gets his first. Messi actually played as well. Um, as with the Netherlands, I didn't mention, we have a teeny, teeny um, international break coming up. But in this international break, actually, there's a French Cup round 
um, go figure. Uh, all the leagues are kind of resting. Um, actually, a few interesting games in there. North against Brest to kick it off on Friday. We have also Mo uh, Marseille against Montpellier. I think that's not an, an interesting one. Lens against Monaco and PSG against Nice. So uh, there's quite some interesting stuff there. And maybe there will be some focus for me to put on the French Cup for once. Uh, the next round, we have Lille against PSG. is the big one. Uh, we have also Breton Derby coming up. And if you look, uh, Marseille. Uh, Monaco against Lyon. So we have actually name-wise, although Lyon and Monaco are not that great this season. So that was it from me for these two leagues. As, as I said, I think the PSV Ajax clash was probably the biggest clash this weekend. A uh, little bit underrated in many in many ways because everyone's only to, uh, focusing on, to, on the top five. But you have two really good teams there. And I think the Dutch title race, I think, is not definitely tilting towards Ajax. Um, but I, as I said, I always can see Ajax dropping a few points. And if it wasn't for PSG, we would have probably one of the most exciting title races in France. Well, maybe some French people would anyway like to take Paris out of their country. Be it as it is made. Please, if you have to add anything, uh, drop a line below. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day!